Bucks and Miami Heat. The Heat in command, leading by 15 points. But moments ago, Jimmy Butler off to the Heat locker room. Yeah, we saw it was back-to-back plays. You know, him hitting the ground on the one. We, everyone in the game of basketball knows how tough Jimmy Butler is. There's no one that questions that. So I'm looking forward to hearing the update on what's going on. Inside two minutes to go in the third. Bucks time to stay within striking distance. Lowry has the defender on his hip and is able to score with Carter riding him. Lowry's got 15 on five of seven shooting. He was questionable coming into this game with left knee soreness, which has been an issue throughout the year. Portis inside for two. Drew Holiday with the assist. Holiday had no assists in the first half, three in the second half, and he had 26 in the first two games. Here's Oladipo in the paint. And, and look, I, I, the Bucks offense hasn't, hasn't been really the problem. They're shooting. 50% from the field and three. It's just their defense hasn't been what you would expect. Connaughton misses. Here's Carter for three. Nothing falling now for Milwaukee. And when you look at the heat, the heat bench has been outstanding. They have been the difference maker in this game. Plus 20, plus 16, plus 17. You touched on it at halftime. It was Duncan Robinson that was the spark in that second quarter. We haven't seen him yet here in the third. Lowry trying to take Portis and a foul. That is five on Bobby Portis. And Bobby, come on, Bobby. You know who Kyle Lowry is. He doesn't have the same burst to go by you. He is one of the best in NBA history at drawing fouls, whether it's a pump fake or just a little bit angry. Get your hands out of there, especially with four fouls. You've got to be smarter than that. Kyle Lowry doesn't have that burst to go by you anymore, so the best thing he can do is the minute he feels any hand or any contact rise up. That's what he's still outstanding at. And Eric Spolstra telling Rodney Mott he believes this should be a shooting foul. It should be. It's the first foul in the last two minutes on Milwaukee, but they're saying side out. Middleton checks back in with Portis going to the bench. There's Lowry off the Zeller screen. Oh, what a cut by Martin. And he tried to save it, but out of bounds. He wasn't expecting, he wasn't expecting that little thread through the needle. And that's what, look, when you have a point guard like that, especially running your second unit, the, the bench players should get better shots better understanding of the game, be put in the right spot. They're just put in a very good position to succeed. Middleton from mid-range. She's got 20 points now. Plenty of time left. And Milwaukee with plenty of firepower, even without Giannis, as we saw in game two when they put up 138. Their highest point total in a playoff game since 1978. Not a two-second difference in the clocks here at the end of the third. Three to shoot for Lowry, and he fires away over Ingles. Two seconds to go. Holiday from midcourt. No good. And the quarter comes to an end. Miami still in command. 15-point lead over the Bucks. One quarter to go in game.